Hey kids, welcome back to our Sunday School class. I hope you had an awesome week and are ready for another amazing lesson with us today. Ileana, we met your cousin Juan Pablo last week. He's so nice and seems to be enjoying Miami. He loves Miami. He's been having such a great time. We're staying at home, but he's having a great time with the food and everything here. Right? Did you guys like my glasses? Do you like it, Ile? Yeah, they look super cool. Do they help you? They do. They help me see better. What about yours? I see you're wearing some, huh? Yeah, these help me in the sun outside so that the glare doesn't affect my eyes. Awesome. That's what glasses are for, right, guys? Which reminds me about the lesson we will learn today, how Jesus healed a man who was blind. Are you ready, Ile? Yes, I'm ready. Let's see it. Jesus was walking with his disciples when he saw a man who had been born blind. The disciples asked, Teacher, why was this man born blind? Did this happen because of his sin or his parents' sin? Jesus answered, Neither his sin nor his parents' sin caused this. This man was born blind so that people could see God's power through him. Jesus would be on earth for a short time, so he healed people to show what God is like. Jesus said, while I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Then Jesus spit on the ground and made mud. He put the mud on the eyes of the man who was blind. Go and wash in the pool of Siloam, Jesus instructed. The man went and washed. Wow. When he came back, he could see. The man's neighbors were amazed. They took the man to the religious leaders and they asked him how he was healed. A man put mud on my eyes. I washed and now I can see, he said. The religious leaders were upset because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath again. They did not want to believe that Jesus could give sight to people who were blind. Over and over again, the man who was healed told the religious leaders what happened. The man believed Jesus must have come from God. But the religious leaders threw the man out of the synagogue. Jesus came to the man again and asked, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Tell me who he is so I can believe in him. You have already seen him, Jesus replied. The Son of Man is talking to you now. The man said, I believe, Lord, and he worshipped Jesus. Our sin makes us unable to see the truth about God. Jesus came as a light in a dark world. He came to give us sight, true understanding of God and his kingdom. Those who trust in Jesus See who he is and worship him. So Juan Pablo, what do you think of the video? Also oh, nice, Miss Ali. Very interesting. But I do have questions. Oh. Okay. Hi! How are you, Ali? Hi, Mia. Hi, person. Welcome, welcome. Who's that? This is our friend Juan Pablo. Oh, hi, Juan Pablo. Hola. Hola. It's so nice to have you here, Mia. We are discussing what we just learned in our Bible story. Whoa! What was it about? It's a blind man! Oh, oh mm -hmm. that's sad! What happened? Well, Miss Annie, I have a question. Yes. Why was the man born blind? Well, in the story, Jesus meets a man who is blind. And the Bible tells us that even through his condition, we will be able to see God's glory. Ah, and Tom says, even with the bad, God makes it good? Yes. For That's those... awesome. God is awesome. Yes. Hey. God can turn anything into a good thing for those who love him. Man, God. Mm-hmm. And in the story, Jesus takes some dirt and he spits on it. And then he puts it on the man's eyes. Hey, yeah. Yeah. That's gross. I know, I know. But don't miss the point. Jesus still does a miracle through this. Wait, the mud is magic? No, no, no. The man had faith in Jesus. Just oh. to put this out there, I do not go putting mud in your eyes. No. I don't think that's very safe. 
No, and it hurts probably. Yes, yes. This is just something that Jesus did, but what saved the man was his faith. So, Miss Annie, what else did we learn today? Well, we learned about the fact that there is not only physical blindness, but we can also be spiritually blind. What? Wow. What's that? That means that you are not listening or seeing or obeying Jesus. And how can we see spiritually? Well, the Bible gives us a promise that says that we are saved through grace by faith. If we believe in Jesus Christ. Jesucristo. Oh, so by believing in Jesus, we can be not blind spiritually? Yes. yes. Because we'll be, we can get close to Jesus that way. We can learn about him through his word and we can obey him. Muy bueno. Oh, that's awesome. I want that. I want to obey yes, him. Yes, it's awesome. It's a life with Jesus is awesome. Si. Sí. He can walk you through trials and through everything. Well, I want to obey God too. Me too. That's awesome, guys. A life with Jesus is wonderful. See. Sí. Now, I want to say thank you guys for joining me and learning this story. It was so much fun. Yay. I thank you, guys. Daddy. I hope to see you again next time, okay? Have Yay. a good week. Bye. Yes, yes, yes. Bye. Yippee. What are we doing? So we're going to be making this little guy uh, and teaching the kids how to tell the story to their friends and family. Awesome. So it started out when he's blind and then it goes to when Jesus puts the mud on his eyes and finally when he, because he had faith, he got his eyesight back. That's really cute. Alright, so how do we do it? So what you will need is paper towel roll or toilet paper, whatever you have, okay. markers, popsicle sticks, tape, scissors, glue, and paper. Yes. So in this part, please ask mom and dad for help because you're gonna take the roll and you're gonna draw a circle and then cut it out. So make sure you ask for help in that and then you can color it whatever color you want okay. with anything. I use paint, but you can use markers or crayons too. Awesome. And now we get the paper and half of it and okay. we roll it up all right let me roll that like mm -hmm. a scroll kind of exactly right. and we're gonna put it inside the roll perfect and now we're gonna just make sure it fits really nicely in there and now take it out a little bit mm -hmm. and secure it with a little bit of tape on it okay like that so it doesn't open right mm -hmm. so we're gonna make sure we have that like that perfect okay and now we're gonna use the popsicle stick and cut it in half are those the arms break it yes these perfect. are gonna be the arms so with a little bit of glue mine are purple because he's already purple but whatever color you want and we're gonna put one on each side one on that side with a little bit of glue and the other one here perfect and that will dry up and now we're just gonna do the face just keep the paper inside or take it out? Keep the per paper inside. Okay. That way we have the shape of the face, right? Mm -hmm. So the first one is when the man is blind. So we're going to give him sunglasses to represent that. He could not see. Yep. Like that. And he's sad about it. So that's the first. Then you're going to roll it a little bit to the side. <laughs> there we go. And now we're gonna do, now he's confused, right? Because, so he's like, oh, because Jesus put mud. And so now you can take a brown marker, okay? Or a crayon or whatever color you have. Just like squirrel it around. Yeah, like mud in his eyes. Okay. Like so. Uh -huh. And finally, we're gonna put, thank you. We're gonna put a happy face that he was healed. Because he was healed. And if you don't have googly eyes, we can just draw the eyes. Okay. Like so. And ta-da! And let's not forget our verse. Oh yes, that's true. Our verse is found in John 9, 3. This happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. 
Yes, John 3, 9. Yes. So once you have it, you can also decorate it in however you want. You can put stickers even and just make it really cute. But that that this way, you can now show your friends the story. How he I love started it. out. That's Line. super cute. Oops. Just turn it slowly, right? So yeah. it doesn't get here, stuck. Let's turn okay. it this way. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a way to turn it. But here is when he's blind and sad, then surprised by Jesus putting the mud on his eyes, and finally healed. So make sure if you try it, you leave it down in the comments below, and we'd love to see it. Yes, send us a picture. Yes. See you next time. Bye. Bye. This story helps us see that sad or difficult circumstances are not God's punishment, but ways He can show us His glory. Exactly. Our sin makes us unable to see the truth about God. Jesus came to give us true understanding of who God is. Those who trust in Jesus see who He is and worship Him. And in a way, we are all born spiritually blind because we alone cannot understand God's Word. Thankfully, God reveals Himself to us in the Bible so that we can have faith and live forever in Him. Exactly. Guys, let's pray about that today. All right, let's put your hands together. Bow your heads. Lord, thank you that we can have spiritual sight by faith in Jesus. Help us see the truth of the gospel and have courage to tell others about you. Open the eyes of those we speak to so they can see you and have a relationship with you through Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.